Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn about significant digits. All numbers from 1 to 9 are significant. This leaves us with number 0 to learn whether or not the zeros is significant in certain numbers. So first of all, if the zero is to hold the decimal in its place, then it is not significant. For example, you have number 0 0.024, number 0 0.0038. These numbers both have only two significant digits. Because all the leading zeros here, they are not significant. However, zero in number 30.7, 1.09, and 8.30 are significant. This number all have three significant digits. So it's easy to recognize that 30.7 is significant with three significant digits. 1.09 has three significant digits. But what about 8.30? You probably asked me the zero behind this number three, why is it significant? So to explain that, I would like you to take a look at number 8.3 okay, and number 8.30. Please compare the difference between these two numbers. So in terms of value, 8.3 is equal to 8.3. But for this number here, okay, I write 8.30 is because I want to tell everyone that this number is accurate to two decimal places and precise to three significant digits. But this number tell me that I only measure up to one decimal place. So this one, 8.3, is accurate to only one decimal place and precise to two significant digits. Okay, so this number zero here is significant in this case. So to develop the rule for that, I want to remind everyone that this zero right here, okay, it is present after the decimal point and also after a significant digit. Therefore, it is significant. So this one, I have three significant digits. And this one, I only have two significant digits. So remember the zero after the decimal place and also after a significant digit is significant. Okay, the next rule we need to talk about is the line above the zero. So in some number, you saw that there's a line above certain zero in this case, this line representing that it is significant. So for number 190, the line above the zero show that I have three significant digits. Number 5800, the zero is above, uh, I mean the line is above the zero right here. So in this case, this number has four significant digits. All right, so let's go over all the example that I have and uh, uh, to indicate how many significant digits that we have in each of this number. Okay, example one, I have 0 0.0078. This one, I only have two significant digits. Okay, for number two, the leading zeros are not significant, but this zero here is significant. It's very important with that zero. So I have three significant digits in this case. All right, okay, for number three, I only have two significant digits. For number 30.7, I should have three significant digits. For number five, I should have four significant digits because the zero in between the significant digits are significant, so I have four significant digits in this case. Number six, I also have four significant digits. 
Number seven, I should have three significant digits. For number eight, the line above this zero tells me that this zero is significant. Therefore, all the zero in betweens are significant as well. Therefore, in this case, I should have five significant digits. All right. So compare number eight with number nine. You see that there isn't any line above any of the zero. So therefore, in this case, I should have just two significant digits. Because the last three zero that I have is to hold the number in its place. All right. So make sure that you recognize the difference between number eight and number nine. And there's a line. For number eight, there's a line right here. Therefore, this one has five significant digits. In this number nine, I have 69,000. And there isn't any line above any of the zero. Therefore, I only have two significant digits. OK, so what about rounding? I have to round a certain significant digits. What should I do? So the rule to round number to uh, a certain significant digits is similar to rounding to certain decimal places. Basically, what I meant is that all the rule for roundings is still the same. If it's five or more, then you add one. It's less. Uh, if it's less than five or equal to four, then you leave the significant digits alone. Okay, so we are looking at these two important uh, highlight rules here. Okay, so example number one, I have four zero, four zero. So let's round. The, let's write the number down first, and I have to round this to two significant digits. Okay. So in this number, 7,040, you have three significant digits. OK, so two significant digits, you need to look at the zero that you have to round the zero. But in order to round zero, you are going to consider number four right next to it. Four is less than five. Therefore, you are leaving the significant digits alone. And then you have to uh, write it as 7, 0, 0, 0. OK. However, this will give me only one significant digit. But this question wants me to give it two significant digits. So I'm going to put the line above this 0. OK. Again, one more time. OK. Round 7,040 to two significant digits. What you need to remember is that this is your second significant digit. This zero is your second significant digit. So you need to round this number. It means that you take a look at number four right beside it. Number four is less than five. Therefore, you leave the zero alone. And you write your number as 7,000. But if just write number 7,000, you only have one significant digit. But they want you to have two significant digits. Therefore, you must have a line on top of that zero to show that it is two significant digits. All right. OK, the next number is 1503. And I need to round this to three significant digits. So three significant digits. So three significant digits mean this is my first significant digit. My second significant digit, my third significant digit. So this is the one that I have to round. OK, so this zero here is the one that I have to round. That means I look at number three. So number three is less than five. So I leave the zero alone. So in the end, I should get the answer as one, five, zero, zero. Again, I need to put the line on top of the zero to indicate that I have uh, three significant digits in this case. All right. OK. So for the next number, number three, 
I have 0 0.9499 and I need to round this to two significant digits. Okay, so first of all, this zero is not significant because it is the leading zero. Your first significant digit is number nine. Your second significant digit is number four. Therefore, four is the one that you have to round. To round the four, you take a look at number right beside it, which is nine. Nine is greater than five. Therefore, you must add one to four. So at one to four, I have to increase this by one. So that means I will write it as 0 0.95. And this number give me two significant digits. All right. OK. So now I want you to compare. OK. After we finish question number four, I would like you to compare number three and number four. Okay, so in this case, I have 0 0.099999. All right, okay. I have to round this to two significant digits. So first of all, this zero is not significant. This zero is not significant. This is your first significant digit. This is your second significant digit, so you have to round this number 9. Okay, rounding this number 9, it means that you take a look at the number right next to it. So this 9 is greater than 5, so you have 1 to this 9. So at 1 to this 9, I would like everyone to uh, try this. Okay, so at 1 to this 9, so you are going to write at 1 to this 9. So 1 plus this 9 will give me 10. So I write 0. OK, I write 0, but I put the 1 over. All right, OK. So then what I have next is this turn into 0 0.10. So this actually give me two significant digits. So again, one more time with example number four. So 0 0.09999. So this nine is the one that you have to round. So you have to take a look at this number nine. This number nine is greater than five. So you need to add one to this number. So add one to that number. So basically what you do is you put 0 0.09 you add that with 0 0.01. Okay, so add this two. What you have is 9 plus 1 is 10. So, so you write 0. You bring the 1 over. Now you carry the 1 down and you carry all your decimal. So in this case, you have two significant digits. All right. Thank you.